In this video, we're going to talk about Gibbs free energy. Um, although I'm not sure what Gibbs did, but now Gibbs has been dropped from the names and it's just called free energy, uh, but still symbolized by the G, so he didn't completely lose his standing. Um, so you'll see either free energy or Gibbs free energy, the same thing. And it's a thermodynamic equation defined like this. But it's, now we're going to talk about whether something, this is a true prediction if something is spontaneous or not spontaneous. So if delta G is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. Conversely, if the delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. Okay? And so the difference between this energy, is this equation, and this equation down here is the not symbols, the degree symbols here. So this e first equation is at non-standard conditions. And then for standard Gibbs, it is, I add the not, and so that means it's the standard of 25 degrees, one atmosphere, and one molar. And so this bottom equation down here is actually the one that we're going to be using in our calculations. So let's do an example of that, okay? <clears throat> so in this first problem, change here. Okay, it says calculate the entropy of delta G from the following equation. And then in this table down here, I gave you delta H and S. So we first have to calculate those quantities and then calculate delta G from the previous equation. So the delta H naught is going to be, it's the products minus reactants, so it's going to be six times the delta H of formation and there's a not sum out there, of H, F, plus the delta H of formation of SO3. So that's my products, minus my reactants. So the delta H, not, I'm going to forget knots a lot, of formation for the SF6 plus three times the delta H of formation for water. Okay, so now I'm just going to plug in my numbers. So I have six times coming down here to HF. The first column is delta H, so it's a minus 272.5 plus the SO3. I got SO2 and SO3. It's minus 395. down for too long, and it still did it to me, 0.8 minus the SF6 is minus 1220.5, again coming from here, plus three times the water as a liquid is minus 285.6, okay, so I'm going to delta H naught for the products is a negative 2030.8 minus, and for my reactants, it is a negative 2077.9. So I end up with actually getting a positive 47.1 kilojoules. And that's delta H naught, okay? All right, now we have to do the same thing for the delta S naught. So delta S naught is essentially the same formula. It's going to be six times S naught for HF plus S naught of SO3 minus S naught of SF6 plus three times S naught of water. Okay, so my delta S naught is going to be six times the, now I'm going to this column on the table. Okay, and so it's six times the 173.7, all right here plus the SO3 is 256.7 minus 
The SF6 is 291.5 plus 3 times the 69.95 for the water. Okay. So my delta S naught, again, the numerators is going to, I mean, the, sorry, the products are going to be the 797.55. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. I skipped along. It's 1,298.9 minus 501.35. What I did was I skipped, I have it written down, I skipped the line. It gives me 797.55, and that's in joules per Kelvin. Okay, so I didn't mention that in this slide, that this is usually in joules per Kelvin, this is in kilojoules, and this is in kilojoules. So I need to change this to kilojoules per Kelvin. Okay, so I need to change that to kilojoules per Kelvin, and so by doing so, I divide by a thousand, or simply move the decimal place. It's going to be 0.79755 kilojoules per Kelvin. And last but not least, I do the delta G naught. Remember, it's delta H naught minus T times delta S naught. My temperature is 25 degrees Celsius because of the fact it's because um, it's standard. So it's always going to be, for our problems, it's always going to be 25 degrees, okay, which is equal to 298 in Kelvin. So my delta G naught is going to be my delta H, which is going to be 47.1 minus 298 times this 0 0.79755. And when I do that math, I get a negative 190. 0.6 kilojoules. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, on the next slide, I have another problem, but that will be the next video.